a word of scripture and a word of prayer for you and with you today. The writer of Lamentations wrote five poems and they are laments. And let me read you what conclusion he comes to, Lamentations chapter three. Remember my affliction and my wanderings, the wormwood and the gall. My soul continually remembers it and is bowed down within me. But this I call to mind, and therefore I have hope. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, says my soul. Therefore, I will hope in him. Lamentations chapter 3. Let us pray. Our Lord, we thank you for this day. And you know all about it. You know all that's going on around us. We trust in you. You, Lord, are our portion, our hope, our help. We long to see your guiding hand through each and every day and to come out the other side. And we pray that you will, in your faithfulness, each and every morning, show us your great mercies, your love, your steadfast love for us. We love you today and we cling to you for you are our shepherd. You are our help in time of need you are our strength lord jesus you are our strong tower our comfort and we need you lord we pray for these people each and every one who's listening we ask that you would meet their needs lord some are going to deal with finances and financial struggles lord provide by your great and mighty hand. Lord, some dealing with illness or sickness, Lord, you are the great physician, bring healing. Some with just discouragement, Lord, lift up their eyes to look unto the hills from whence cometh our help, the Lord, the God whom we love and serve and worship. Lord, we pray for those in government making choices and decisions today. We pray that you would give them wisdom. Help them to make wise, right decisions for the people. We pray for those who are on the front lines, doctors, physicians, EMTs, hospital workers, those who just work in grocery stores. Lord, uh, and those who are in contact with others, we pray, oh God, that you would protect them and keep your protecting hand upon them. Keep them well. We pray for each and every one in your family. We thank you that we can come together by way of media. Pray for one another. And Lord, in unusual ways, just to serve one another, love one another, contact one another, may we draw closer to you and closer to your body, to those in your family. And Lord, help us to be a shining light in this time, Lord, of difficulty to those who don't know you. Lord, may we not only wash our hands, but may we serve one another, wash our feet, if we have opportunity to help one another. Lord, protect us, be with us, guide us, lead us. Lord, again, we ask that you would bring healing to our nation, to the world, and that our world and the nation would turn to you, the God of the universe, the one who loves and cares for us. We do pray for each and every one that's associated or connected in some way to faith at Newtown, protect them, we pray, we ask. For today, your mercies are new. Great is your faithfulness. Be with us, guide us today, protect us. In the name of Jesus Christ, 
our Lord and Savior. Amen.